What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 17 Andre the Giant figure. Much like Seth Rollins, man, this figure was on my wants list for a long time. And Mattel has just been knocking it out of the park with these Ultimates and I can't wait to unbox this guy. I know a lot of people are going to be using this guy to make big shows and giant figures. Should be really fun, man. Can't wait to crack him out. We get a championship with this guy. We get some cloth goods, which looks like a massive shirt, as it should. It is the it is Andre the Giant, by God. Nonetheless, man, taking a look at him here in the packaging, I think he looks good. Pretty decent men on card looking, you know. Uh, I know a lot of people are upset about the sculpted singlet instead of a cloth singlet over some trunks, which I think I can get on board with. You know, I wasn't heavily criticizing it, but looking at it here, how it's not, uh, like, aligned, like, yeah, I, I think that was a pretty big miss there. However, it is an Andre the Giant, and to be honest, you could take a singlet from a different figure and throw it on there or get a cloth custom one made. I know we shouldn't have to, but if you want an answer for that, you could probably get one made and put it over it and it would cover all your bases, but we'll probably get another Andre the Giant down the line anyway, but Andre the Giant up top, standard packaging, ultimate edition. On the side, you have a picture of the man there, which looks good. He's looking, he's killing it. You got Andre the Giant there, Andre the Giant there, and then Andre the Giant all in this area. What do you mean by that? Andre the Giant on the side, of course, and then that is pretty much your packaging for the Andre the Giant figure, man. So with all these things being said, let's crack Andre the Giant out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and dive into his Ultimate Edition action figure from Mattel. So here's Andre the Giant out of the packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far out of this figure. I, I like it, man. I mean, he's giant, right? It's it's right there in the name. I am enjoying this guy so far. I think that I touched on it in my WrestleMania vlog experience. If you guys missed that video, I highly recommend checking it out. It was a lot of fun to make, and my freaking rotational base just died. I don't know how on point it is. But this this figure, I'll, I'll edit it in somewhere, I guess. I'll make it keep going somehow. Maybe I just loop the damn thing over and over again. But I said it in my WrestleMania vlog, just talking to Steve Ozer. It's like, do Mattel's consistent? Consistency, as far as quality is concerned, like, don't get me wrong, they release some head-scratching things sometimes, right? Head sculpts, torso, parts choices, this'll be loose, this'll be dumb, this'll be that, and we're gonna address those things, but on a consistent basis, if you check out any regular figure at retail on the aisle, they're not putting out the quality that Mattel is in the wrestling figure space like they are on a clip on a consistent basis. Just doesn't happen, bro. Does not happen. Other companies shine for sure, but I don't think they're quite on the Mattel level. But who am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. But let's shut the hell up, dive into Andre the Giant's accessories, and then dive into the figure itself. But also, if you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Definitely appreciate them always, and appreciate you guys for using the code. But with all that being said, let's finally crack this guy out and find out what he's about. Well, we already cracked him out, you dumb son of a bitch. Alright, man, so getting into the accessories that you get here. Again, you get a championship. You get cloth goods, you get interchangeable head sculpts. I think this is a solid amount of accessories outside of a singlet cloth thing. Now, typically, we like to start off with gold, and we're going to do so here with the Andre the Giant version of the WWF Championship that they were going to present to Andre had he won the championship here. And it's pretty much the exact same championship we saw with the Elite 100 outside of this little silver clip here at the end, which I think is a nice addition. I don't know if it's accurate. And they also said, or Steve told me in a one-on-one, -on -one, that it's going to have a running change, actually, where there's going to be a black version and then you have the navy version. So if you're a crazy completionist and stuff like that, well, Brad, you got to get both. I don't make the rules. I just deal with them. And then we have these Andre the Giant head sculpts here. And I actually like this one a whole lot, the wide eyes. This is kind of one that, you, you know, you find synonymous with Andre the Giant. And I like the hair sculpt. I think all of them have really good hair sculpt. I think the expression's nice. I think it resembles Andre the Giant a lot. This is probably one of my favorite ones, but I think all of them have a nice favoritism. This one kind of reminds me of actor Andre a little bit. You know, I, I don't know. I, I like that one a lot as well, but I love that we're getting all these different expressions. They're all in their own way. You got the little smirk here with his teeth showing through. All these look fantastic. They all look really, really good, and I think Mattel has really nailed it on the Andre likeness. And then the last one, which is also one of my favorite ones, you have the yelling expression, which I think captures him perfectly. I like the teeth there. I like the mouth. I don't like the way I said that. But yeah, you got the curly hair in there. I like it. Yeah, it all look good here with Andre the Giant. He's, yeah, I think it looks uh, everything you want out of Andre the Giant, you're getting it in these head sculpts. Now we do get cloth goods here, but it is a t-shirt. We've never seen a t-shirt with Andre the Giant before. You got his big handprint there, which is probably, you know, it's probably his actual hand size on a t-shirt, so it's kind of like massive and that's kind of what his whole deal was. So you got Andre there in the blue script. It's got the red palm on there. This is great, man. Really big shirt, actually. I could see people using this as like an undershirt on a 
John Cena throw a jersey over it. I don't know. I'm just spitballing there, Brad. Got the John Cena collection on the mind. Always got to do it. But I'm not going to put Andre the Giant in the shirt. It's either going to go in my crowd or on a John Cena fix-up. Because I don't, you know, I don't put Andre the Giant in this. I see him in the singlet. I see him shirtless. I don't see him wearing this shirt in my head. So I'm not going to be using this on this figure. But it is a cool inclusion. Outside of that, you do get interchangeable hands. Of course, you do have the fisted hands here, which are slightly larger than the regular versions. Thank God. You also feature the Mattel choke slamming style hands or, you know, it's like throat grabbing or, or that style of hand. And then you have your pointer fingers, which is also great. You know, the Uncle Sam point to the face. Very cool here. I think we saw this was with his Elite 100 figure, if I'm not mistaken. And then what I do believe is newly sculpted hands here. You have like the signature Andre the Giant like hand pose. You know, I think of this as like raising up your hand. Like you could put this with Big Show like raising up your hand to do a choke slam. You could do this for, you know, showing his hand in comparison to somebody's face. Like pointing at it like there's a bunch of different things here but this is really cool and unique and i think this is a really cool inclusion for the ultimate edition all right, man, so getting into Andre the Giant, starting out the head sculpt, I like it. We've already covered the head sculpts and stuff. My biggest issue really with this figure, like I don't have a problem with the torso outside of the singlet sculpt, which I'm going to talk about right now. I think the head sculpt sits well on the on the body and everything like that, but right here, man, this right here is pretty unacceptable. Uh, these, these don't line up, as you guys can see. I mean, if you were to like back it up and like move it right there, yeah, but then he's not, I mean, I guess he's not standing weird, but that's not the natural pose. That's not the natural way he stands, so you do have to adjust that, but I guess it's passable. It's not the biggest issue ever. But, you know, when you, you articulate them over here, then you do have this big gap there. And then if you do it like this, then you got that ugly thing there. So, yeah, this one wasn't thought through. You know what I mean? This definitely wasn't thought through as far as a cloth singlet. I feel like it writes itself. And that looks really weird when you pull it like that and you have the skin tone and then the singlet. And then over here, you got that. So, yeah, you're getting some weirdness going on with this guy. You're being weird, man. I like the arm size. The butterfly joints are nice and smooth. I mean, he moves around fantastic. He feels really quality in the hand and all those different things. You got the black, like it's solid black, no wrist tape, no nothing. Then he's got the long legs. One thing I noticed though, he doesn't have the drop down hip joints, which I think is very interesting. And then he does have the big boots and they do have the toe pivot there. So it's just, you know, it's standard Andre the Giant, man. This figure represents Andre the Giant really well. I mean, that's basically it. Ab crunch, like he doesn't really have any ab crunch, but what are you going to be doing with it? You're going to be doing 450 splashes with Andre the Giant, Brad? You got the diaphragm all the way around here. You got, uh, goes above 90 there. Really good butterfly joint on this guy. Double jointed arms are clean. Bicep swivel. You guys get the do the deal with the interchangeable hands. He can do the splits. No drop down hip, but he does have upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, boot rotation. Angles move down and up, and he does have the toe pivot. So, like, he, he poses around really well, but Ultimate Edition suck on ab crunch. That's, that's like another thing they need to get into, probably. But they're, it's not the worst deal ever, you know what I mean? They just can't bend over maybe as well as other figures, but at the end of the day, they're still competing with the best of the best, and they are probably the, the best of the best. They are the standard. So that's just the way it is. They're the Alabama of action figures. I'm referring to college football, Brad. Nonetheless, let's get into some figure comparisons. So for your Andre the Giant Elite figure comparisons, you do have the Elite 100 Chase, the Elite 100, the Ultimate Edition, and then the... Elite 60, I think it was. And I don't have the Toys R Us exclusive. I saw it a hundred times and always passed. And now I regret it every single day. The Elite 4 pack with the, you know, the Heenan Family 4 pack. Yeah. I sold that in that Legends lot. Or that pack of Legends that I sold off shortly before the start of the channel. That was in there. Also, that whole 4 pack, I'm pretty sure I sold off. I never owned the Legends Elite, I don't think. So yeah, this is kind of where I'm at, man. Kind of bummerific. But yeah, you guys can see they did the old, they did the singlet here with the giant machine and all that. But I still am on Team Elite 100. I think the Elite 100 is my favorite, but uh, it's still cool to see these up next to each other. And then for another comparison, you do have the Ultimate Edition Series 13 Hogan up next to the Ultimate Edition Series 17 Andre the Giant, which is pretty cool. I like seeing these up next to each other. I think it's pretty iconic. You know what I mean? I mean, this is all history right here, and these are probably, I mean, I don't know. People could probably argue with the Andre, but this is probably the best action figure of Hulk Hogan ever. Like, standalone, like, cream of the crop Hogan, like, cookie cutter Hogan. This is probably the best action figure of him ever made. It's definitely up there. And then Andre the Giant, you know, say what you will, but these are just so sick to see up next to each other. And then for one last comparison, we do have the Ultimate Edition Andre up next to the Legends Bobby Heenan and the Build-A-Figure Mean Gene over here, which is pretty cool just to see these guys up next to each other. And again, I sold off my other Bobby Heenan. I uh, I have the other Mean Gene as well, but this one was more in reach and it's more up to date, so I went with that one. But 
that does it for your Andre the Giant figure comparison. But I think that pretty much wraps up my Andre the Giant review today, man. I had a ton of fun with this guy. I'm sure my rotating base is going to die here in a moment, so I'll try to keep it looping for you, but got to get a new battery for that thing. Damn. But I've enjoyed this figure a lot. You know, Andre the Giant is just one of those legacies. He's one of those legends that will forever... He's like George Washington, you know what I mean? Well, he's not quite... I kind of <laughs> slow the hell down, Brad. He's not quite on George Washington's level. But he's like that, right? He's a legend. He is... A, he's, I think the perfect example is like Babe Ruth, you know what I mean? Well, Babe Ruth is probably better in his area of sport rather than Andre the Giant. But I feel like the legend, you know what I mean? It's like the legend of Andre the Giant, the legend of Babe Ruth. And that's just what I feel about him. And he's not going to be on your all-time list, but everybody knows who Andre the Giant is. And I think it's just phenomenal piece here. I enjoy the figure a lot. I like the cloth goods. I enjoyed the championship. We're getting that back from the Elite 100 set. I still like the Elite 100 figure over this one just because I like suited bodies and weird figures. And I think they should have done a cloth singlet probably. Yeah, I, I, I can agree with you there. But I still think it's a solid addition to the Ultimate Edition space. I think it was deserving of an Ultimate Edition figure. And I enjoy the figure overall. So, you know, if you have any other Andre the Giant, I think you could get this as your main Andre the Giant. You know, it's not your Elite 100 in the suit, but it's it's a great wrestling style Andre and go up on the shelf in your Hall of Fame wing and your legendary status wing, and it's perfect for that, I think. I, I think I could easily say that. Nonetheless, that is going to wrap up this review, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It's always greatly appreciated. Just leave a like right now, bro. Just go ahead and hit it. I greatly appreciate it. But if you guys want to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Always greatly appreciated when you guys use the code. And before we get out of here, huge shout out to the patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys for your continued support. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the MDT channel, check out the links in the description below. Lots of perks and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, man, that is going to wrap up our Andre the Giant review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comment section on this figure. Did you grab it? Are you skipping it? Is it not worth your time? Leave me all those thoughts down below. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Name Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next one. You'll never back down.